Hello everybody, Todd here with Speed Trap Collectibles and I am here to give you an update on the Dilemma video that just went live. Um, it is Monday, almost 10 o'clock and I need to get some eBay done for as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, Monday the 8th of November. So why am I doing this video on an update so soon from the Dilemma video when it just went live? Simple, simple, simple explanation. Something happened that I did not appreciate on Friday by the friend who asked if I wanted to do his eBay as a percentage rather than by the hour. So, what happened? There is another employee who is doing work that I was doing that really isn't very good at it yet um, but here's the issue they're doing the same thing to him that they did to me for two and a half years give him one thing he's not even 10% of the way into it give him another thing put the other thing that's supposedly important aside because this is more important still not done with that one give him something else because this is more important now he's got two things while this piled up with so much stuff, which is what they did to me, to a point, and I've explained to them, stop giving, I did it to them about me, and they said, what I tell you to do is what I tell you to do, and you do it. Doesn't matter, which is stupid. You're in the middle of working on something that can bring the company several hundred thousand dollars, and they want you to put a five dollar item on that they don't have, but maybe five hundred dollars worth of stuff on. So logically, common sense tells me why would I do that when I can make you more money by finishing this one and putting that one at the end. However, nope, I want this done. If I tell you to do it, you do it. So this is what they're doing to the kid. I call him a kid. He's just graduated school, so yeah, he's a kid. This is st the stuff that he was doing. He should have been done with it, yes, like three three weeks ago I was gone for three weeks and they had just given it to him a few days before I left on vacation I get back I expect well I'll get into this in a second I expected him to be done but doing what they do throwing more crap on the plate giving them a pile of the Mount Vesuvius pile of uh, stuff to do Nothing was getting done. Literally nothing. He was getting photos done, which is part of his. He has to get things on the website. He supposedly do an eBay uh, while I'm gone. Packing, shipping, adding new stuff. However, they had all this new product for their website that they wanted him to do. Which I kind of expected him to, like I said, I expected him to be finished with it when I got back. He was nowhere done. He had the photos done, was editing them. And that's about as far as he had getting yet. This whole first week while of my return, they were pissed off because he wasn't done. Well, Friday it finally came finally came to a head. I get a phone call, 3.30 in the afternoon, wanting to know what this kid is doing. For one, he was supposed to have gotten Thursday a bunch of items done and put on eBay. I want to explain what these items are. I won't even explain what the business is. But he was supposed to have had all these things done. Once again, something added to the pile that he could not even get to. Because he's working on the other things that are more, supposedly more important. But apparently this other item, which is less valuable, became more important. So I said, I don't know. What do you want me to do? I, don't, I haven't been here. I only come in the afternoons. I do my eBay shipping for him. And then I list what I can while I'm there while cleaning their 10,000 square foot warehouse that's filthy dirty from the pile of dirt in the last video I mentioned. Anyway. So he's yelling at me on the phone wanting to know why this kid, who I have no, no charge of, I'm just another fellow employee... Wanting to know why he hadn't got these things put on eBay, but then he starts yelling at me again because he wants to know why this stuff isn't done for their website. So I flat out told him, you guys need to stop giving him 
so much stuff. It's made, it, you've given him too much. He's confused. He doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know where to stop. He doesn't know where, because they keep throwing stuff on his plate. He doesn't know what he's supposed to get done and what not get done anymore. So, boss doesn't care. He wants this stuff done. So he tells me, 3.30 in the afternoon on a Friday, I need to go get this stuff done for the website. Which is not my job. So I went in. Let me back up here a little bit. One of the things I explained to my boss was, it. I go, listen, you guys think taking photos and putting this stuff on the website should take five minutes. It doesn't take five minutes. Some some of these photos you gotta edit, there's so much detail. One photo could take 10 minutes, another one could take two days because it's just so much that you're trying to erase from a dirty background to make your, which a lot of you understand. Clean photos mean better for business. However, I explained this to him, me knowing what e-commerce is all about, website doesn't matter what the website is the cleaner the website the more business you're gonna get so I get yelled at saying I don't care what the photos look like they need to be put on the website okay so yeah you're really good at making money you're really good at telling people what to do you're really good at, ma at making investments but when it comes to e-commerce you don't know crap I didn't kind of say it that I didn't even tell him that I was just like it has to be done for websites to, in order to get a better business. He did not give a rat's butt what I said. He wanted it done no matter what the photos look like. So I said, fine, it's your business. I don't care anymore because I'm not going to stay here. I didn't tell him that at that point, but it's going to be that point. But I told him, fine, whatever. I'll have him do whatever he's going to do. So I walked in and I just said to the kid, whatever you're working on, stop it. Put the pictures on. That's what they want. That's what they get. If they complain about it, anybody in the other company complains about it, you tell him they can address him. Not you, him. Because you were told you do not care you, that they do not care what the photos look like. So that's pretty much what happened Friday. Now, in the middle of this phone call, Probably within the first 10 seconds of them yelling, him yelling at me on the phone, I made my decision that I will not be putting my stuff in the warehouse. So, now when do I quit? That's my new dilemma. Do I wait until I go away for a week and then tell him I'm not coming back? Or do I hold out till the end of the year? My answer is quit before I go on vacation so that when I get back I can just do my own eBay because I will make way more money on eBay my wife doesn't see this but if I can get my streamline done without being interrupted whether it be for house projects or making dinner then I could get a lot more income coming in through my eBay so with that I need to get things going here I have some eBay to do before I head to work in an hour so thank you everybody for listening to my outcome and new dilemma and tell me what you think if you had a boss that told you he didn't give a crap what the website looks like wouldn't you say the same thing sorry I'm done I'm out of here have a good day, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're a friend of mine watching this video, you do not want to know who it is. I'm not going to tell you. you are, some of you already know. But anyway, please give the video a thumbs up. Please comment below and tell me what you think about this video update and the dilemma and the new one. And please subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be sharing my task at hand of updating and upgrading and building up my eBay business, which I need to add. I did add five things to Facebook Marketplace over the weekend. It's big bulky stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day and peace out.